So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first of all, Merry Merry Christmas to everyone. Even though tapos na ang Christmas, I hope you had a happy and joyful Christmas with your family. Pero ayon, alam ko super tagal ko nang hindi nakapag upload sa YouTube. Pero eto na nakapag rest na ako kasi guys super busy sa school. As in the whole month of December, sobrang busy like araw-araw may ginagawa akong project, school works, quizzes, exams, tapos may practice pa kami. So talagang super hectic ng schedule ko. And for today's video, I'm going to do my best 2022 skincare and makeup products because in a few days it's going to be 2023 na. So I want to share with you guys ko ano yung mga enjoy kong products this past year. So ayun, this is going to be our year ending budol. So ayun, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So So guys, these products that I will show you are like my best holy grail products talaga. Kasi, nung una, super dami kong napili talaga. Pero sabi ko, sobrang magiging mahaba yung video. So, sabi ko, I will I will narrow it down. So, ayan, let's start off with the skincare that I love. So, first off, of course, is this cleanser. Ito, lagi ko siyang kinukwento or like, sinishare sa mga past vlogs ko. And this one is the Quinoa One Step Balance Gel Cleanser from Axis Y. And this one is my favorite cleanser because you get a lot of product within like one bottle. As in, super tumagal to sa akin. As in, this one is my second bottle already and I've been using it for like six months na. And this one, I love it because it's non-stripping or hindi siya matapang sa face. Because guys, most importantly sa akin, kapag sa skincare, ayoko yung super tapang because kapag matapang yung skincare for me, super nakaka-strip siya, super nakaka-dry siya ng face and that can cause breakouts as well. So, alam mo yun, yung kapag naghilamos ka, alam mong malinas yung face mo pero alam mong may moisture pa rin sa kanya. So, ayun, I super super love this cleanser and I highly highly suggest that you guys buy this and ayun, Naman is toner and guys, ito pa rin yung holy grail toner ko and this one is the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner and I realized this year na super love ng skin ko talaga yung green tea as in I don't know it really calmed down my skin lalo na kapag may redness ako kapag yung mga pimples ako breakouts ako especially pag magkakaroon na ako as in dun talaga nagkakaroon ng mga pimples sa face ko but now super na control niya na hindi na ganun kalala yung breakouts ko and whenever I use this hindi rin siya mahapte on the face and as same with the cleanser it's non-drying it's non-stripping so ayan I super love this one and this one is my second bottle na so guys hindi ako naglalay sa inyo kapag sinasabi ko second bottle ko na siya kasi talagang super fave ko talaga itong mga to so ayan Next one, guys, is this one. This is the Noni Ampule from Salimax. And actually, nung una, sabi ko, parang hindi ko naman to magagamit as much because ni naman ako ma ampule type of girl. Because this one, guys, is an ampule. And for me, kasi non, yung mindset ko, sabi ko, ampule. Sabi ko, parang, eti mga products na ginagamit ng mom ko. I recommended this to some of my friends, even my boyfriend, because this, this one, as skincare product in this haul, actually, Two products siya, pero same category lang naman sila. And these are sunscreens. Guys, let me tell you, if you're not using sunscreen now, girl, what are you doing? Sunscreen is the most important product that you use on your face, especially kapag sa umaga because of course, we are exposed to mga UV rays, sa sun, ganyan, and that can cause a lot of skin damage kapag hindi ka nag-sunscreen. So, these are the two sunscreens I recommend. And this one, for me, this is pwede sa mga boys as in binudol ko si JP dito and this one is very lightweight on the skin it has a cooling effect and this is also a pimple care and sunscreen in one because this contains Sika and for this one naman is the Hamish Artless Glow Base I use this one whenever I put makeup on because this is some type of like a primer and sunscreen in one as well so if you want to have an additional glow on your makeup use this one and this one is not oily it's not greasy hindi ganun yung effect na mamibigay niya it's like the perfect type of glow lang sa skin mo that can really really look good on their makeup super pet peeve ko yung mga sunscreens na sticky yung mga parang ang oily sa face and ang heavy sa face so alam nyo maa-assure kayo na etong dalawang to hindi sila ganun so ayun i highly highly suggest these sunscreens talaga and 
And yes, now let's move on to the makeup category. And guys, to be honest, super bumalik yung loob ko sa makeup this year because there are a lot of local brands that are releasing their makeup and a lot of them are actually sending some of their PR packages to me as well. So, and dami kong natry talaga. And I have here the first one and this is the Essie & Co. Active Skin Tint. I think this is like an obvious entry for base makeup because a lot of people, TikTok influencers, love this product and I'm in the shade Hazel if you want a shade reference. Pero, this one guys is super lightweight. This is a sunscreen and a base product in one. And I use this for school, for every day because it's not irritating sa face. It's not heavy so it's very perfect for beginners and for everyday use. So, second one naman guys is this one. This is from Sunny Space and actually I had a love-hate relationship with this one because no una, hindi ko talaga siya bet. Sabi ko, bakit ganito to? Like, hindi kasi ako sanay na mag-stick formula when it comes to my base. So, sabi ko, parang, mm, maka it's not for me. Pero I gave it another chance and ito yung ginamit ko today on my skin. And this one, guys, sobrang lightweight niya on the skin. I think it's more lightweight than this one. And the downside lang dito is like, hanggang medium coverage lang siya. Hindi niya kaya yung full coverage unlike this is the Co. Pero mas lightweight siya. And this one, mas mararecommend ko to if your skin is okay naman. Like, you don't have to cover up some blemishes on your face or like clear skin ka naman. This is the one I can recommend. So guys, next are concealers naman. And I think mahuhulaan nyo na ko ano yung entry ko dito. But I have two brands here. So let's start with this one. And actually, ito, empty ko na siya. Hindi ko na siya nagagamit because ubus na siya. Pero this one, it's from Get Ready With Me and ito yung um, Radiance Tint. Oh my gosh, as in tingnan yung gamit na gamit ko na siya. Wala na yung print niya dyan. But I'm in the shade 21 Almond. And this one guys, super super gusto ko siya because of the formula. It's medium to full coverage and it's buildable. It's not matte. I don't like matte concealers. Kasi for me, parang it doesn't look good and parang nag on my under eyes because one of the best concealers I've tried this year and I'm surprised na it's from a local brand pa. Naubos ko yung get ready with me. Sabi ko, ano nang concealer yung gagamitin ko? And then sakto, nagpadala sa si and ko on their new release concealers. What I love about it, kasi meron din silang mga color correcting concealers. So I have this one. This is the PT4 and MW3. So if you want a more thicker formula, if you want more coverage on your concealer, go with the Essie and Co. Guys, next is powder. I only have one entry for powder, and this one, ever since na binili ko siya, di na ako nag-iba ng powder. Swear, guys. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder and this one is in translucent. I like going for translucent powders because I don't like to put a lot of coverage sa powders ko because I don't like that matte finish. But this one guys super sobrang fine ng powder niya and that's what I'm looking for when it comes to loose powders. And I use the baking technique with this powder as in sobrang smooth ang poreless ng face ko as in I use it today and guys until tonight hanggang mamaya hindi nagagalaw yung makeup ko. And guys, I have here the Beauty Beauty blush in the shade Beauty. And guys, kung napansin nyo, kung nahilig rin kayo sa mga pink blushes this year, di ba super daming mga releases na mga different local brands on their own take on the pink blush. This one is the best cool tone pink blush. And for cream bronzers, this one again from Issy and Co. And this is in the shade Blaze. Actually, I use Blaze and Molten. Si Molten, di ko siya mahanap. I think it's in my bag or somewhere. Di ko talaga siya mahanap. As in, kanina pa ako pa ikot ikot dyan sa vanity ko. Pero, this one is my second most used shade. Ang pinaka-used shade ko talaga is yung Molten. This one kasi, it doesn't look muddy on your face. Like, it blends like butter on your face. So, talagang no worries ka kung magmumukha siyang cakey and stuff. Kasi, with this one, di talaga. Guys, of course, I also have a recommendation for powdered blush and powdered bronzer. So, unahin mo na natin to kasi it looks super abused as in sobrang tignan nyo yung tsura niya. Wala na siyang cap and nabasag ko na yung isa kong ganito. And this one is from BYS and this is the blusher in crystal pink. And ito talaga yung perfect cool toned local blush na nakita ko. Kasi, tignan nyo. I think this one can be a dupe for the Dior blush talaga. It's affordable and it, it works perfectly as a cool toned pink blush. So, 
Now let's move on to powdery bronzers and this one is from NARS. NARS is actually a good high-end brand. Like all of their products, high quality talaga. I have their cream blush as well, yung Orgasm. Super nice. Bronzer, this one is the Laguna NARS bronzer. Like, <laughs> doesn't look too orange, too brown. It's the perfect type of bronze. Like, next is highlighter of course and guys ako talaga hindi ako mahilig masyado mag highlighter so, yun, if you're gonna ask me what's the best highlighter i've tried this 2022 it's gonna be this one this one is from dior this is the backstage glow face palette and ito super gamit na gamit ko siya and as you can see i don't know kung makikita nyo pero these two itong brownish parang bronzy shade and this white one yun yung pinakagamit ko as in, wala na yung pattern nila. As you can see, dito sa taas, makikita nyo pa yung pattern na Dior. Pero dito sa dalawa, wala na. Kasi ganun ko sila gamit na gamit. Perfect siya for the face. Pero perfect din siya for like, yung mga ganito. Like, wait. Papakita ko sa inyo. Let me show you. Like, oh my god. Like, ah. Uh, pero like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, look at that. And guys, this next one are mascaras. Actually, mascara lang. Pero dalawa yung hawa ko dito. Kasi I have a backup one. And this one is the Heroin Make Mascara. I think this one, familiar na kayo dito. Kasi a lot of YouTubers, Tony Sia, are raving about this mascara. And ako kasi guys, I stopped wearing eyelash extensions parang four months ago. Kasi feel ko, nandadamage niya yung lashes ko. Siya lang yung mascara na nakapag-keep ng lashes ko na curled all day. And... Of course, I have a backup one na. Ayan. Ayan, ayan. This is a proof na super gusto ko talaga itong mascara na ito. Kasi bumili talaga ako ng backup. And it's not actually that expensive. Medyo similar siya sa price range ng local mascaras. And this one is around 795 pesos. Speaking of lashes, I'm also in love with these lash... Lashes. It's very affordable for good fake eyelashes and yung mga styles nila guys they are similar with like manga lashes like yung spiky i'm actually wearing a pair right now and this one is in the style l6 ito yung pinakagamit na gamit ko but i also have l9 if you want more of a longer lashes and if you want that spiky lashes go for l20 pero guys i swear ang ganda ng quality ng mga lashes na to and you can actually reuse it. Just make sure to clean the glue after you use it and you can reuse it again. This next category, a lot of you are asking this on my DMs, sa mga stories ko, nag-reply kayo, tinatanong sa akin, Ate, what lip tint do you use? What lip combo do you use? So, I usually go for these three. Actually, these two or these two la. And this one is from a local brand. This is from Vice Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Kiss Is It. And this one is the perfect brownish nude and super abuse na natong lip liner ko. Kasi wala na yung cap niya, wala na yung sharpener niya. So I have to buy a new one. Kunti na lang natitira dito guys. Like, ayan na! Max na yan. Yan na lang natira sa kanya. So gamit na gamit ko talaga to. And then after that, I usually go for this one. These are both from Periferas. This one is more of a nude, darker shade. More of like a mauve shade. And this one is in the shade 28. Or if I want to go more of like a strawberry nude type of feels like medyo pinkish, I go with this one. This is in the shade 27 and this is the one that I have on my lips right now. And this is my lip combo. Ayan guys, nasagot ko na yung mga tinatala nyo sa DMs ko pero ito lang yung ginagamit ko. I have an additional category for this best of 2022. So I added some perfumes kasi this year sobrang nag-explore rin ako to buy perfumes kanyan. And the first one I have here, this one is an obvious one. If you're gonna, if you're watching my vlogs, this one is an obvious entry. But this one is the product candy and Kakaubos ko lang sa kanya. It's so heartbreaking. This one is not super sweet naman. It's like sweet, musky, and powdery. Ganun yung smell nito. So it's not overpowering. And guys, this next perfume naman, I actually have two types. This one is an inspired perfume. And this one is yung original. I'm so happy that I have the original one na. Kasi this one is actually gifted by my boyfriend. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bal. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't want to splurge on the original one, I highly suggest yung Inspired Perfume. And I highly suggest either go for Farah Sense or Haven Co. Yun yung mga um, go-to ko when it comes to Inspired Perfumes. Farah Sense or Haven Co. Kahit alin dun, it's good. Hey guys, by the way guys, yung scent pala nito, medyo, medyo na dala na ako. Pero yung scent pala nito is marshmallow, powdery, and musky. So it's not too sweet as well. Ang bango. Ang bango guys. Guys, ang bango talaga. Promise. Okay, tama na. Tama na. Pero yun guys, that is it for this best of 2022 makeup, skincare, plus perfume. So, ayun, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want me to do more of like beauty videos, comment down below please because I've been enjoying makeup lately. So, I want to share that with you guys as well. So, please comment down below if you want me to do that type of videos. I will link everything down below. And guys, yung mga skincare na sinabi ko sa inyo, those are all available on Shopee, on Sweet Sweet PH. That is my go-to store the past 2022 for my Korean skincare products. So, please, please check them out because they are all authentic, fast delivery, fast transactions, no hassle transactions, and everything. Merry Christmas again! Advance Happy New Year! And, ayun! See you guys on my next vlog!